We're here with Alexander Valchuk. Um, Alexander, um, you've been collaborating with BT Research, Deutsche Telekom, Telia, uh, on driving business growth with AI enhanced OSS and BSS. Uh, tell us more. Of course. Uh, thank you very much, Richard. We are very excited to be here today on OSS and BSS Summit and to demonstrate uh, the results of our collaboration with BT Research, Telia and uh, Deutsche Telekom. So uh, in the Catalyst uh, project, which we have developed together, we have uh, managed to realize a very practical and key scenarios, which are then uh, could be important to realize um, um, uh, when it comes to the monetization of all operations of the OSS and BSS. So then the use cases which we have identified together with our partners are, first of all, network immune system as a service. And that's uh, basically the use case which allows uh, an operator to be able to monetize not just the differentiated connectivity, but security services using the policy-driven orchestration of uh, different end-to-end -end composite advanced services. The second use case is related to the real-time service assurance, uh, and we are demonstrating the way how the assurance component of the overall orchestration framework can be used to guarantee uh, the required performance levels. And uh, the third uh, use case, which we have developed together with uh, Telia, um, demonstrates the way uh, how the agentic AI systems could be used to chat with the OSS applications and then then to really interact with the complex system using natural uh, language. So on the right hand side, uh, we see the overall end to end architecture of the Catalyst project, which we have developed with our partners. And uh, it includes uh, three uh, main uh, components. First one is the Ericsson Core Commerce system, which allows an API to actually to sell the uh, connectivity services uh, easily. Um, the um, second uh, uh, part of the solution is Ericsson Service Orchestration and Assurance product, which basically enables the end-to-end -end orchestration across the network. And then it integrates with the network immune system, which is provided by BT uh, Research. And then this overall end-to-end -end, uh, solution enables Iperator at the end of the day to actually uh, introduce the automation and at the end of the day to start the journey towards the autonomy. Then um, let me just quickly uh, explain what are the key technology enablers when it comes to the realization of this whole work. First of all is the uh, sales orchestration system, which is used to, uh, to manage and uh, to orchestrate the service and resource intent. And the very purpose of this uh, system is to manage the complexity and help a period to keep the state of the network in one place and then at the end of the day to orchestrate it seamlessly and then uh, configure the processes in a way that they can be uh, implemented as zero-touch operations. And the second uh, key part of the overall solution is the network immune system provided by the BT Research, which is the very advanced AI-enabled security uh, solution which is designed to prevent, detect, and respond to the different threats which could occur uh, on uh, the network. So basically, these two solutions or systems are pre-integrated in order then to realize the overall end-to-end -end use cases which we believe could be important for the operator to consider. Then if we look at the overall uh, demo scenarios and demo flow, we are trying to be very practical and demonstrate uh, the overall scenario end-to-end. -end. And we managed to realize the uh, overall order to cash scenario. And also we have included uh, the two type of the closed loop operations use cases. First is related to the security and we have demonstrated the way how the orchestration system could react to the security problems which could occur in the network. And the second use case is related to the end-to-end um, -end, um, uh, network slice assurance use cases where we are managing orchestration to basically guarantee the quality of service of, uh, which is being proposed to the enterprises. And um, uh, this is basically you know, a set of the demo scenarios and uh, the demo flow. And uh, we are very excited to see that uh, these sort of ideas uh, are very well uh, understood and, uh, by operators uh, which uh, we talked with. And we are looking forward to implement these scenarios in uh, real production systems. That's really interesting, Alexander. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you very much.